Now this isn't something that I wanted to do. It's more the kind of thing that I'm being forced to do. So this right here is one of the Xeon Platinum 8180 $10,000 processors from our six workstations, one CPU project, and I dropped it. I didn't realize it was broken at the time, but I knocked it off the desk and a cursory look at it showed me that it was probably okay, and it booted in the motherboard. That is until I realized one of the memory channels wasn't working and the CPU had a bloomin' dent in the side of it. So out of desperation, I emailed my good friend Stephen Burke over at Gamers Nexus to ask him what to do. And he said, well, here's something you could try. And if it doesn't work, well, at least you'll get a bunch of views on YouTube while you're breaking it. So if things go wrong today, you know who to blame. With Pulseway, you can remotely monitor, manage, and control all your Windows, Mac, and Linux machines from one app. Create your free account today at the link in the video description. What the f***? Oh, there it is. Oh my god, how am I gonna get this out? Ah. Sweet. So before I show you guys how I plan to repair this very expensive and very damaged CPU. I've got to get my test bench prepped to even show you guys what exactly is the problem with it right now because the thing does actually work. At least the last time that I tried it, um, mostly sort of. So first we're gonna need a different motherboard. We're gonna need one that uses the LGA 3647 socket. And this one hopefully still works Someone didn't put it away properly and there's no socket cover on it. It actually does look okay. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this on the bench and then we will go from there. One small step that I sort of missed a little bit here. This one. Oh, come on. Just, sure, no. What? One this one? Sure. Wait, yes. Good, cool. Okay. Uh, all right. It, wait, what? Wait, what the hell? Oh, crap. All right, that wasn't so hard. And look at that. It slides right down the heat sink fins. And these two screws are what actually put enough pressure on the CPU in the socket to ensure that all those contact pads are making contact with all the pins inside. So you know what? We're gonna start with just one stick in dim slot A1 and see if we can even get that to go. Because I haven't tested this since the, well, last time I tested it. Let's go over here. Oh no. Oh, come on now. Is it dented? <laughs> if this doesn't do anything, there's kind of a chance we have no video at all right now. So I'm legitimately very nervous. I can't remember where it is. Well, no, it's like gotta be on here somewhere. There it is. What? What? Is that a funeral march? All right, all right, all right, I get it. The working theory right now, because we can't see any physical damage on the outside, is that somewhere in here, something kind of lifted away. So, I figure if I put some glue in there, and clamp it down, maybe it'll stick together well enough that it'll work again. Bombs, wood, stone, metal, ceramic, foam, glass, and more. <laughs> this, is, this falls squarely in the and more category. So we're gonna use this finishing nail because we didn't find anything else lying around. We are going to kind of jam it in there. This is really stupid, this is not gonna work. I think the best thing that can happen at this point is for this video to never see the light of day. And trust me, this hurts me at least as much as it hurts you. Yep, you guys got it right. This is what's happening. Hold on. Did you make the extra set of hands? No, I'm good. Just hold still, little CPU. Promise this won't hurt a bit. Okay. Oh boy. 
Well, let's leave that for a little bit. How long does Gorilla Glue want to set? One to two hours. We don't have one to two hours, so we'll give it a little, little bit here. Okay, so here we go. Impossible to say if that's gonna make any difference, at least until we install it. <laughs> Everything we do from here on out, David, is just to satisfy our own curiosity because there's no video here. All right, I'm not even gonna bother putting the fan on the CPU because like, it's not gonna heat up if it doesn't turn on. Just for fun, I'm gonna pull the CMOS battery. Really don't think any of this is gonna get me anywhere. I'm gonna try a black memory slot this time. Knowing fully well that this isn't going to work, I'm going to try another board. Hopefully you let me down. It's like that pure optimism that's keeping me going right now. Here I go again, putting this thing in. Okay. Now this board is not even like close to fitting on this test bench. <laughs> It's not quite as good vibes. If this wasn't completely just a waste of my time, I wouldn't be so frustrated right now. I don't know, I mean, we've come this far. We might as well put another CPU in the other side. Maybe this is a dual socket board that doesn't boot with just one CPU. I, I don't know. <laughs> All right. I give up. Check out the link in the video description. <laughs> Get 10% off Shattered Hopes and Dreams today. <laughs> After you left, I thought Jake was using this with Unraid before, and he might have set it up so that the onboard video is the default. And so I went and grabbed a VGA monitor, and we posted. It's posted! If this works, I don't have to go crawling back to Intel asking for another one to finish six workstations, one CPU. Is really not looking forward to that. I wasn't recording audio, I'm sorry. No well, audio? No audio, no. And it's, none at all? None at all. Camera? Not, well, camera's going, but it's... Good okay. Everything looks normal. It works? So, well, uh, we don't know yet because remember, it already worked at one point with five RAM channels, so I've got to load it up. Jake, can I have the other uh, RAM by any chance? Thank you. I don't know if I deserve a medal or like a swift kick in the ass. It's kind of hard to get this stick in here because uh, of the like angle of this. What is going on? Like everything about this whole setup is so jank. Come on, baby. What do you want, Colton? I'm trying to find out if I have to spend 10 grand replacing this thing or not. Uh, you should just call somebody. Call somebody? To fix it for you. Yeah, thanks. Uh, did you, no, seriously, did you try unplugging it and plugging it back in? Okay, what is it doing? Hurry up. Can I see the post screen, please? Where is it? It works, but it only works about the same as before. So you can see here, we've got 327 gigs of RAM instead of 364. So the good news is we are booted seemingly stably into our OS here with all 56 of our CPU cores detected and well, you know, uh, 11 twelfths of our memory also detected, uh, but the bad news is that our attempt to fix the broken memory channel did not, in fact, succeed. So, hopefully if nothing else, this was 
an entertaining run through some of the stuff that we would normally do behind the scenes over here. Yeah. So we're on location in my garage to tell you guys about our sponsor for today, Mastrop. Mastrop is featuring the Mastrop X Hi-Fi Man HE4XX Planar Magnetic Headphones. So Hi-Fi Man's been around since 2007 and they're well known for their affordable and great sounding headphones in particular with planar magnetic drivers. These ones feature an open back design with a super comfortable build with extra soft cushioning in the ear pads and this like soft luxurious velour. And you can check them out at the link below to join the drop. Of course, Mastrop has all kinds of stuff. Oh, it's hard to even talk. I'm like so cold right now. So thanks for watching, guys. If you disliked this video, you can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, or maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Also down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, and our community forum, which you should totally join. On the one hand, I'm like really disappointed that it doesn't work, or any better, but on the other hand, I'm glad it still works at all. Maybe let me know in the comments below or whatever, should we just go ahead with five channel memory or should we like pony up and get a new one? I really don't want to.